Hello everybody, welcome to Redmine Tip and Tricks. Uh, my name is Redmine Man and uh, I would like to show you the tips related to the effective uh, let's say planning of the project in the Redmine. So let's count that you have a scope of the project to create the eShop and uh, what I am going to do uh, as usual and probably as some of you is to prepare first of all the list of the tasks related to the particular phases which needs to be done and uh, sometimes I'm also using the, the Excel file uh, which is the easiest way for me where I am putting the phase for example analysis, design, uh, the create the logic of the of an eShop, testing and following by acceptance of the of that product and uh, then creating that particular task to every phase like uh, uh, prepare the work workshop with the customer to specify the requirements then create such analysis report create the uh, layouts, text, news for that eShop and plus uh, the catalog of the products, admin section and whatever so this can be the classic project but how to improve the efficiency uh, in the planning to use such a tool as for example the Redmine. So here in the Redmine is a list of the e issues, how it's called and it seems in the classic raw format. Like you have the issue by issue but it's not uh, well organized, the structure is not well prepared and uh, visible just only in the raw. But, on the other hand, if you will use, for example, the VBS plugin, which are strictly recommend, then you will be able to see that in the different structures, like recreate the project, then the dependency to the face, and then every face can have, for example, the uh, particular task. So, everything is very quickly visible and organized for uh, reading. So let's have a look how it seems the first format in the Redmine and then how to work in the VBS. Just create a project called eShop and now we can start to, to create the phases for, for that project. Uh, for these purposes can be used, uh, uh, let's say, different tracker which enables us to uh, divide the, the type of the issue. Uh, in the one hand we can have a task and uh, for example the bug if you are monitoring the let's say problems on the on the project and also we can create the, the face as a type of the of the issue so let's start with analysis then with uh, design then continue with the logic of the eShop then testing and finally the acceptance by the customer so let's return back to the issues and we can see the list of the of the phases uh, in here and now we can create a particular task like the workshop let's assign it to that uh, concrete phase then analysis report as output from that analysis then we can create, uh, for example, uh, the texts, which, which are right now the part of the design. Then create the layout of the eShop and, for example, language optimization. Now we have uh, the all lists of the tasks which are included into the, into the project scope. But as you can see in here, it's visible only in the raw format. But what I would like to have is kind of a structurized format, uh, similar to the VBS. But uh, it's not in here. Uh, somehow can use, for example, the gun chart, which enables you to see that in the in the relationship, like you have a task, which are under uh, another task, and this task is representing by the face. So it enables us to somehow uh, see that more structurized. But it's not fully enough. Uh, what I would like to see, and I will then demonstrate it into the plugin called VBS. Some project managers also are using the, the versions, like you can see in here, uh, where you can name the, the version based on the phases of the project. 
but I would not recommend it because if you look into that version, it's uh, just only the milestone in the in the time. So here you can see just only the the date of that milestone. So it's not limited by the start date and the due date. On the other hand, if you have a look into into this acceptance, which is just a type of the task uh, using the tracker called face is uh, limited by the start date and due date. So this was basically the let's say project planning in the in the classic Redmine. The task in uh, or draw the task in more or less graphical form by using the VBS plugin as a work breakdown structure. So here what you can see is a kind of a dependency which I already create related to the project eShop and then I just create the phases. Uh, the different colors are described in here on the left side where you can see like a mark to, to red that it's called project then to blue it's task and the green is a face. And uh, just to continue and proceed another level of these nodes, we can just right click on that node and click the other child, like a particular task, which can be called like a workshops. And another task can be uh, uh, create analysis report. To somehow be faster you can use also the hotkeys so if I click on this hotkey and in here is explanation that for example insert the the child can be used the hotkey as a tabulator or insert so let's try it click on the task click on the tabulator and now I have a, another level like a create texts or layout or a language optimization. And now can, I can save it. And here the color uh, was changed to blue as a, another level, uh, as a type of uh, tracker called task. And we can switch to, to the task list. And in here you can also see the this this task which we already created like a acceptance analysis which are representing the face and then are there uh, under every face is a particular task like analysis report or the workshop so this is, I hopefully uh, think uh, can uh, can improve your way of planning of the project and in uh, another webinar we can also have a look into the easy Gantt and another option uh, how to then track with the task once you create it simply by using the VBS. Thank you and see you soon on next webinar or training.